The beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the Neuralink in Gertrude's head. So this Neuralink connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, uh, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this snout in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching the snout. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. So there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you could do a lot. Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So, Neuralink, Elon Musk's most important company, have just provided an update showing us how much progress they've made on their brain implant. Let's see what they had to say, but first, hey guys, if you're in the US and you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account and fund it with $100, you get two free stocks, one of them valued up to $1,400. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. All right, welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. Oh my God, Dad, can you stop? You're embarrassing me. Dad jokes aside though, in all seriousness, if you have a cursory understanding of neuroscience, this Neuralink presentation truly is mind blowing. And fear not, if a lot of this presentation goes over your head, do not worry. I will actually recommend a few books towards the end of this video to help you get your understanding of neuroscience and the progress of technology up to speed. So the, the, the primary purpose of this uh, demo is actually recruiting. So I'm gonna emphasize this at the beginning and then again at the end. Um, we're, we're not trying to raise money or uh, do anything else. The, the, the main purpose of this is to convince great people to come work at Neuralink and help us bring the, the product to fruition, uh, make it affordable and reliable, and, uh, and such that anyone who wants one can have one. Elon is a smart guy, and he's making a habit now across his companies, whether it's Tesla, SpaceX, or Neuralink, to use their presentations and updates as a mass recruiting event. Basically, this entire Neuralink presentation is a massive flex saying, hey guys, look at this cutting edge breakthrough technology we're developing. If you want to be a part of bringing this to market and changing the lives of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people around the world, come work for us, please. We need you. We need the best of the best. Come, please work for us. What's our goal? Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems with a seamlessly, seamlessly implant, implanted device. So you want to have a device that you can basically uh, put in your head um, and feel and look totally normal, uh, but it solves uh, some, some important problem um, in your brain or spine. And the reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. Uh, these range from uh, minor to very severe, but if you live long enough, you, you, everyone's going to basically have some kind of um, neurological disorder. The, the thing that's important to appreciate is that uh, is, is that a, an implantable um, device can actually solve these problems. Um, and I think a lot of people don't, don't quite realize that. All, all of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. And if you can uh, correct these signals, you can solve everything from memory loss, hearing loss, blindness, paralysis, depression, insomnia, extreme pain, seizures, anxiety, addiction, strokes, brain damage. These can all be solved with an implantable neural link. This is uh, an extremely fundamental thing, and I think a lot of people don't quite understand that. Elon is spot on here. The vast majority of people don't have a deep enough understanding of how the mind works to actually grasp the fact that these types of things can be addressed by a Neuralink implant. I'm gonna borrow heavily from neuroscientist Sam Harris just to give you guys a little bit of a picture for those of you scratching your heads going, what is this idiot talking about? Everything you ever experience, every thought, every feeling, every emotion, every sensation, 
everything you ever experience occurs in your consciousness, okay? At an experiential level, it may seem like you're walking around, you're in a physical body, there's an external world, but when it comes down to it, all of this stuff is being constructed in your conscious experience through electrical activity in your brain. And this is the kicker. In theory, you could be a brain in a vat, and all of these signals, while they appear to be coming out from an external world that really exists, could be being fed to you, it could literally be the matrix. Now, I'm not suggesting this is the case, but I just wanna illustrate the point. Everything, everything, Everything you experience is happening in here. There is no external and internal. It's all constructed in your mind. There probably is an external world that probably is sending signals to your senses, but this is all being constructed here. And if we can change the signaling here, we can literally change our internal experience, which is the only experience we ever have. We've simplified this to simply something that is uh, about the size of a large coin. Um, and it, it goes, uh, in your skull, replaces a piece of skull, um, and the wires uh, uh, then, then connect uh, within a few centimeters or about an inch away from the device. Um, and this is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> this is our little device. Uh, it does, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire, wires. It's more complicated than this, but it's, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Current prototype version 0.9 has about a thousand channels, uh, so that's you know, about a hundred times better than the the next best consumer device that's available. It goes flush with your skull; it's invisible, and all you can see afterwards is that there's a tiny scar. And if it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have it Neuralink right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. Uh, and it, it's also got all, all the things that you would expect to see, the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch uh, or a phone like uh, inertial measurement, temperature, pressure. So there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, r related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you could do a lot. I'm sure plenty of you watching now are thinking there's absolutely no way in fucking hell I will ever let anything like that get anywhere near my brain. Let me know in the comments if this is how you feel. But as someone who wants to live long enough to live forever, not joking, something like this device, even an early iteration where it's not able to make major changes, just the fact that in theory it could be monitoring and noticing chemical changes and other red flags and markers of a potential health risk coming up, early detection and prevention, brilliant. I'll be one of the earliest adopters of Neuralink. Mark my words. I'm sure I'll be speaking to you guys in a few years' time with a hole in my skull. In terms of getting a link, so that, um, we, you need to have the device, uh, a great device, and you also need to have a great robot that puts in the, the electrodes and uh, does the surgery. So you want the surgery to be as, as automated uh, and, and as possible, and the only way you can achieve the level of precision that's needed is with an advanced robot. And we feel confident about getting the installation of a link done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave the hospital in the afternoon. And it can be done without general anesthesia. So in terms of getting a link, like I said, it's essentially you open a piece of skull, you remove about a coin-sized piece of skull, and then the robot inserts the electrodes. Then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed. And we, we basically close that up, and, uh, and then you can just walk around right, after, right afterwards. It's pretty cool. This shows you um, a sort of close-up view of the electrodes being inserted in the brain. It's a little counterintuitive that if the electrodes are inserted very carefully, that there is no bleeding. If you have very tiny electrodes, and if they're inserted very carefully, so that the robot actually images the brain and makes sure to avoid any veins or arteries so that the electrodes can be inserted with no noticeable damage. Does it actually work? What I'm excited to show you, um, I call it like the, the, the three little pigs demo. So what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this snout in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this snout. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound.
literally mind-blowing again if you don't have a deep understanding of neuroscience you might not really be sure why this is so important but the thing here is that the Neuralink device is reading activity in the brain and understanding it okay there's a direct correlation snout touches something Neuralink implant goes oh there was a signal snouts touching something just imagine over time as more understanding of how the human mind works more understanding of neuroscience continues to evolve and develop as the technology progresses what other things can Neuralink read in the mind for example oh this person is in pain oh well if they're in pain later on we can actually write to the brain and turn that pain signal off maybe that's a good opportunity oh they're feeling depressed or anxious or suicidal okay cool we've detected that what can we do now to intervene or help this is where things are going again this is early days but this breakthrough right here seeing a Neuralink implant in a living creature reading correctly accurately reading signals and activities in the brain is absolutely incredible and we're just getting started in terms of additional uh, brain reading activity uh, when we have um, say um, one of our pigs on a treadmill <laughs> pig on a treadmill <laughs> and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons and we try to predict the posi position of the joints um, and so we say we have the predicted position of the joints and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints, you can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy. Once again, this is just absolutely mind-blowing stuff. The fact that a Neuralink implant there listening in on brain activity can predict very accurately where the pig's limbs are going to be is a mind fuck. Why does this matter? Imagine you're a quadriplegic or a tetraplegic, right? You can't move any of your limbs whatsoever. Just imagine in the future, Neuralink can listen to your signals trying to move your limbs. You see where we're going? And if it can predict where your limbs are going, well, guess what? It can actually cause an action to occur. So even if you're paralyzed, just by thinking, Neuralink in theory in the future can move your limbs exactly where you want them. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm speechless. So the red things are electrodes firing. And then the green are the neuron bodies responding to uh, the current from the electrode. So you can see them lighting up different brain regions. Uh, and then by carefully controlling the electric field, you can actually have one electrode uh, influence possibly 1,000 or 10,000 neurons. So although you might only have 1,000 electrodes implanted, you could be influencing millions of neurons. This would connect to your phone. <laughs> and actually, so the, the application uh, would be on your phone. And, the, and it will be communicating by, by essentially Bluetooth low energy to the device in your head. And we're making good progress towards clinical studies. I'm excited to announce that we received a, a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July, uh, thanks to the hard work of the Neuralink team. Achieving FDA breakthrough device designation is a really big deal. The watered down version effectively is this device has so much potential to do so much good, especially in comparison to everything else that's available in the marketplace at the moment, that it's going to be helped and pushed and incentivized and accelerated as much as possible. In other words, the FDA is going to be doing everything in their power to help get this product to market. But I mean, really? Did anyone expect less from an Elon Musk-led company? The same guy who's created breakthrough technology and disrupted the entire automotive industry, who's created breakthrough technology and disrupted the entire launch industry? I could keep going on. On a species level basis, I think it's going to be important for us to figure out um, how we uh, coexist with advanced artificial intelligence. You know, I think having, achieving some kind of AI symbiosis uh, where you have an AI extension of yourself uh, like a tertiary layer above the limbic system and cortex, um, and uh, and having that having that symbiosis be good, such that the future of the world is controlled by the uh, combined will of the people of, of Earth. I think that that's obviously going to be the future that we want, presumably, is if it's the sum of our collective will, and um, and so I think it's it's going to be important from a, from an existential threat standpoint to achieve um, a, a good AI symbiosis and that's uh, what I think is m m might be the, the most important thing that a device like this achieves. Now I consider myself to be one of the world's most optimistic people. I think this is a core reason why my life's so fucking great if I'm being honest. But even so, 
I'm not naive. I recall vividly, half a lifetime ago, having a heated discussion with my father who was claiming that AI could become dad, dangerous, etc., wipe out humanity. And here's me, some arrogant teenager. Dad, you've you no idea what you're talking about. As if Skynet's gonna happen. It's, come on, mate. What are you? You've been watching too many Terminator movies, Dad, you fucking idiot. Fast forward a few years after I actually did a little bit more reading on artificial intelligence, the progress of technology, I started to lose a lot of sleep actually about this potential existential threat. Elon is not messing around. Now, not here to be a doomsayer or a pessimist or scare anybody, but there is a very real and serious potential existential threat to humanity in the form of artificial superintelligence. I promised some book recommendations towards the start of the video. Here's the first. I'll put a link in the description to all of these books and I really recommend you check them out. If you're not already a member of Audible, you can listen to most of these for free with an Audible trial. The first is Superintelligence by Nick Bostrom. This deals with the potential scenarios of artificial superintelligence, the benign and the not so benign. You need to educate yourself on this, people. Seriously, you're going to be living in the world where this is a possibility. You really need to know what may be coming. Again, I'm not trying to scare people or be like some, ah, it's the end of the fucking world. But this is a really, really, really important subject that most people are completely naive on. The second book, an absolute classic, I'm sure some of you have already read it, The Singularity is Near by Ray Kurzweil. This talks about our inevitable future with the exponential progress of technology, what things actually look like down the track. Now, if you spoke to somebody 100 years ago and told them about the world today, nobody would believe you. They'd think you're insane. Well, guess what? Ray Kurzweil makes predictions about the future that sound insane. Guess what? His track record is staggeringly good. He's not like some random dude pulling numbers out of thin air and just making shit up. He's applying a very rational and reasonable science-based, evidence-based approach to projecting the progress of technology and the implications of that in the future. Please do yourself the favor and read this, especially if you hear me talking about merging with AI and you're thinking, what is this guy smoking, by the way? Lots of Mary Jane. And last but certainly not least, a couple of books that will teach you more about the brain and how it functions. Phantoms in the Brain by V.S. Ramachandran. I just wanted to say that surname. Badass. And The Brain That Changes Itself by Norman Deutsch. Check them out. Links in the description. As I said earlier, you can listen to all of these for free with an Audible trial, but only one. So pick whichever one floats your boat the most. Now, I didn't intend on making this video to plug a bunch of books, but I've recommended those titles for those of you who've watched this presentation and haven't been able to make the intellectual leap between version 0.9 of Neuralink today. Oh, cool. It made some noise when it picks now touch something to Neuralink version 10 in the future where we'll have successfully merged with artificial superintelligence. We'll have ended pain and suffering for millions, if not billions of human beings. So if this stuff all sounds a little bit crazy read the damn books please educate yourself this is the future that we are moving into as a species you may as well know what's coming so i hope you guys have found this video insightful let me know in the comments below will you be an earlier adopter of Neuralink? are you going to stay the hell away for that or are you sort of undecided at this stage i'm stephen mark ryan this is solving the money problem and i love you all and don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake. The Weeble offer of two free stocks is ending this month. Yes, the offer is ending. Last chance to get two free stocks with Weeble using the link in the description. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you get a free stock with Stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private discord server and more consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so i can keep creating content for you guys there's a link in the description you can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks to learn more click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store either way the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again